Hi everyone and welcome, my name is Dora and this is my 10th update to my Panos eyeshadow series in 2023. I have got, for the first time ever, a complete refresh. I'm so proud of myself. I hit that fifth pan this morning and of course I had to like immediately jump on here. I mean, as soon as it was possible for me to do that. I've got a pretty tight schedule in terms of how many more pans I need to hit so that I can reach my end of the year pan percentage goal. I always like to include a complete breakdown of where I'm at with my pan percentage, not just in terms of this month and what is my goal, but also for every single update so that you can see the, the journey. <laughs> Anyways, stop blabbering. Let's just get into the update. I'm gonna go in the order of most to least amount of uses. And I'm gonna start with this palette here, Urban Decay Prints, also called You Got The Look. And the shade that I was working on is called Endorphin Machine. And this is the one that I hit pan on today. And believe it or not, I'm still wearing that from this morning. Hasn't creased. So here's a swatch of it. I used a purple concoction from two cream eyeshadow sticks as a base and then this one on top just to make it a tiny little bit more cool toned and then on the outer corner I've got like this orangey matte from my pan that palette and yeah I just put like one of the other Panos eyeshadow shades on my lower lash line and that's it I'm not tight lining at the minute we'll get to that in another video I had this in for a couple of months already at my last update I was at nine uses on this shade and then I used it a further 13 times. So for a total of 22 uses, I'm now able to roll this shade out. I'm so happy. It was a bit of a mistake because it's been doubling up with another gold shimmer shade in my Pan That palette, but I stuck with it and I'm so glad I did. The next shade comes from this Creative Revolution massive eyeshadow palette, Forever Limitless Nude Rain. I mean, massive to me, it's my biggest one. 27 pans in here, and the shade that I was working on is called Swim. And it's a brown, reddish matte shade. At my last update, I was also at nine uses, and then I used it a further six times. So after 15 uses, I was able to hit pan. It's small kind of just as small as the one here that I hit earlier this year in the same series. But yeah, glad that is out as well. I wore this shade quite a few times with um, a darker and then like a peachy, so a dark brown and a peachy matte shade um, as a sort of like gradient eye look that I was talking about in my Pan That Palette update. I'm gonna try and include some pictures. So yeah, if you wanna check it out, I quite enjoyed it. And now we're moving into the single digits. But you know, I think I just had some easy shades in here, which is pleasing, good for me. The next shade I've been working on is this shade here from another Revolution palette called Utopia. And the shade I've been working on is called Enamma. So it's a beautiful sort of mauvey, purpley shimmer shade. And I only had to use that seven times to hit pan. And then I used it one additional time just to make the pan look a little bit bigger. And I think that pan is kind of decent sized as well. Yeah. I'm still working on this palette for 50 shades of gold slash yellow. So it's still gonna stay out um, in my top drawer, but you know, don't need to use Enamor anymore, but I really, really like this one. Out of these three, this is probably, yeah, this was my favorite out of these three so far. Then I was working on an XX Revolution shade from the Bare Lux palette here, and the shade was called Golden. Again, not 100% sure what they're like, how they're naming these shades, but all right. It's a very like coppery, shimmery shade here. And I hit pan after just seven uses. I was at six uses after my last update. And I think I said maybe three or four more uses. I only had to use it one more time. And then I hit pan. Who would have thought? Not me. I've now got three pans in here. One, two, three. That I all hit in panels eyeshadows this year. This is a really fun palette to work on. I love the color story. And they're kind of easy to hit pan on. Maybe a Pan That Palette one year, although it's not in my 
2024 selection, but I think it's just a good one to um, keep around for Panda's eyeshadows, maybe project level up, that kind of thing. Oh yeah. And the fifth shade is just shade number one from the Revolution Jewel Glow palette. And I only used this two times within this project to hit pan on it. I had 16 prior uses on this shade. So yeah, 18 uses to hit pan. So here's a swatch of that shade. Just very neutral, kind of cool tone neutral. I really like it. Very nice shiftiness going on. Chloe had suggested that after I ditched my focus palette, I should just hand select one shade. And this was the one I hand selected. I think I made a really good choice there by picking something out that had a lot of use on it already. So yeah, I get to hand select another shade. But if you're familiar with my Panos eyeshadow series, you know that I work on six shades. And you also know that this year I'm allowing myself one veto per month per update. And this is the one that I'm vetoing this time round. It's a shade called Sweet and it comes from this I Heart Revolution pineapple palette. It's a pink matte. I'm wearing it on my lower lash line now. I literally just put that on because I thought I only had one use on it. So now two uses. It seemed a little bit more decent. Here's that shade. It's beautiful. Really, it is. But... I know it's gonna take me ages to hit pan on it. I'm trying to, you know, make my target, pan percentage. And I think after having worn so many pink shades over the summer and spring, and to be honest, like last winter as well, I'm a little bit over it. So I just wanna ditch this one and yeah, roll in something else in its place. So yes, we are going to roll in six new shades. Five of them are going to be randomized. I have got 583 eligible shades and then that final one I'm going to hand select once I know what kind of color story I'm dealing with. So all of these are rolling out. Okay, let's do this. First shade, 286. All right. This comes from my Revolution Pro Phoenix Shadow Palette, which is my current project level up palette. I'm gonna re-roll. Yeah, because I'm already trying to hit three pans in that palette. Nah, let's re-roll. 326. Revolution Rockstar Palette. And the shade is called Tease. Don't have that here. Ah, hang on. Actually, I managed to squeeze it out of my top drawer because I'm working on one of the shades in It's a Panning Revolution over on Instagram. Oh, it's this one. Yes. 100% yes. Ooh, look at that. I wonder if it's similar to Enamor. This one is Enamor. And this one is Tease. Now, Tease looks like more wet, more shiny. I really, really, really like this. I've been craving purples and mauves since it got a bit cooler. So, yeah, super happy with that. Second shade. 548. Oh, that's going to be something really new. That is super exciting. Oh, could it be one of Ruth's palettes? Mm. 548. Yes! Beauty Bay Retro Love Be My Baby. Which is immediately putting like a soundtrack in my head. Now here's the palette. This was already here on my desk. Yes. <sighs> Ruth gave this to me and I haven't played with this yet. And it's a shimmer. And it's this one here. I mean, I did say, like, oh, I'm not really feeling pinks, but a pink shimmer, yeah, totally. Totally. Look at that. That's really nice. They look really nice together, actually. Yeah, all right. Very happy with this so far. Okay, it's not really looking that different yet, but I'm all right with that. I really, 
I mean, you know, I like this color story a lot. Okay, third shade. 461 is also a late one. Very good. Revolution Forever Flawless Desert Desire. And the shade is called Desire. Is that here? No, that's not here. So I'm going to take a note of that and show you that at the end. Okay, fourth shade. 540. I don't know. I can't remember the number again, but if it's from this palette, I'm going to re-roll. I don't want more than one shade per palette in here. Just like the variety. Sorry about everything's like making noise right now. Yeah, it's Beauty Bay Retro Love. Moon River. Is that a blue? Oh, that'd be a shame. Yeah. Oh. It's this one here. That would have been really, really fun, but... Do we have some rules? <laughs> okay. 231. Revolution Pro New Neutral Passion Palette. And the shade is called Sham. I don't have that here, so that's another one we're gonna look at in a minute. Fifth and final random shade. 477. Yes! Natasha Denona. My Dream Palette. I haven't even swatched this yet. Aspiration. Do you know which one it is? I don't have a clue. So we've got three more to work out. And then I just don't know what I'm going to pick. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe this one again. I think they're just such pretty shades in here. And the shimmers. I mean, I can't remember how many it was on Earth. But I feel like it might have been 10, maybe. Um, if I remember, I'm going to try and um, insert the actual number. Actually, I can look this up. What am I talking about? So if Earth took me eight uses to hit pan in and golden to seven, then yeah, I think a shimmer from here is like a very good contender. All right. But before we do all of that, Let's look at the other three shades that are already randomized. Okay, interesting. I have two more piles in that drawer that I just needed to access. And these two palettes were both on top of these two piles. Oh my goodness. But then I also manifested this one. Oh, it's, I've never used a Natasha Denona shade other than swatch them in store. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a tough one, but all right. I have to veto it, who knows? This one is Aspiration. All right, I can do it. I think everyone says that Natasha Donna matte shades are really, really, really hard to hit pan on. In fact, I was just watching one of, um, I was just watching a video from Danny, and she's panning her Natasha Denona palettes exclusively in her project level up. And yeah, I know that she said they were hard for her to hit pan on and she's so good at hitting pan. So <laughs> I think this is a veto contender. But I'm very happy to, you know, start working on it, at least for a little bit. All right, Aspiration. I think again, this like really matches, at least for me. Let's move on to this one here. Another palette that I've never swatched or used. So Revolution Desert Desire and the shade is called Desire. All right. It is this shade here. Look at that. It's very powdery. You can barely see that, but I swear it's there. <laughs> I think this could be fairly easy. Much more powdery than the Natasha Denona one. So yeah, I think I should at least give this a bash and not just only work on shimmers. <laughs> and here is the Revolution Pro Passion Palette. Here is that shade Sham. So it's just a very unassuming, off-white, pearlescent kind of shimmery shade. Which again, I doubt is gonna show up. This seems quite tightly pressed. Oh yeah, here it is. It's gonna eat a little bit into my pan, that palette, in terms of, you know, inner corner highlight and that kind of thing, but doesn't matter. 
I can deal with it. I can live with it and it'll be all right. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now I need to hand select something. Why is this so cohesive? I'm liking it. I really am. Okay. I think I might like trial some of these shimmery ones here and then see how we see which one I'm going to go for. I could do like a proper neutral one because I know I haven't really got anything like that in another project right now. And that's pretty. Yeah, it's probably quite similar to this Jewel Glow one. These sort of look a lot like some of the ones I want to hit pan on in my Phoenix palette. Maybe it's going to be this one. Oh, I like this. It's very, yeah, it's kind of mauve cool toned. That would be this one here. And this is the other one that I just swatched. Or should I go a bit darker and deeper and try this one? Let's try that next to it. Oh, that's also very pretty. Very extremely pretty, both of them. No, I have decided I'm gonna go with this one here. Hold on, let me do it like this. Okay, here is my new color story with that invisible shade there. And that's the old one. I think that's such a nice shift from, you know, end of summer, beginning of autumn into like, yeah, more cool toned autumn vibes. I am feeling this. All right, let's look at my pan percentage as well, actually. I know I, I updated it yesterday, but that was before I hit pan in endorphin machine. So I know I'm above seven points. I'm like, in the early seven point somethings. <laughs> and I want to be at 10%, but I don't really know where I'm at. I need to hit one more pan in October so that I can stay on track. And I've got, what date is it today? I've got five days left in October and I need to hit one more pan. I don't think I can do it. Nah. Mm. And then eight in November, probably nine in November, just to stay on track. Whew, wish me luck. Anyway, enjoy the pan percentage. Here it is. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so, so much for watching. I also wanna say I am going to introduce two new projects probably November, maybe December. I'm trying, yeah, because they're like new ones. I think I'm gonna try and do them before the year is out in case, you know, anyone wanted to hop on. One I literally only just thought of like the other week and I made a whole list and I know already what I'm rolling in and I, I think it's quite exciting. And the other one is an eyeshadow one as well. Yes, so. Do stay tuned for that. And yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night, wherever you are. And I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye. Mwah.